Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio Fu. as we now take on plant number 42. And if I'm correct, if we just keep moving while shooting it, we should... Whoa. We should be fine. Since it attacks by... Uh... Oh! That was not just fine. I was gonna say, because it attacks by, uh. Feel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think so. You're not getting Chris today. As long as we keep move. Oh! I would think as long as we keep moving, we'd be good, though. We're getting close to death, aren't we? Are we just supposed to fight it this way? You know what? I'm gonna try something. A lot of people were saying the knife is the most useless thing in Resident Evil. What if... what if it's not? Nope, it is the most useless thing. <laughs> Alright, we're still good, we're not... So, once we get in the red, that's when I'm gonna be worried. It, it did lose an arm, too, so... Making some sort of progress. Just gotta keep... Oh, come on! It's like those random... For some reason, the, the goop... Well, no, not for some reason. It's obvious why the goop is tracking me, because... I'm trying to kill it, but still. Aha! There we go! It's kind of weird. Are you dead? Is that it? What was that for? Will you take the mansion key? So I'm guessing that's what it was for. <laughs> For one key in the fireplace that I probably could have just grabbed and run right out. <laughs> I really like how it didn't lock me in for the boss fight, though. That was cool. It's like a uh, spore spawn from <laughs> Metroid. Oh, Super Metroid. I can't believe it. Are you okay? Oh my yeah. god. Rebecca. So much for him, we got to the root of the problem. <laughs> oh, just really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? Big boy. <laughs> I guarantee it. I'll well, do the same this, for you this tonight. Is radio. <gasps> Richard! Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Are you gonna Maybe bounce around some more? Broken. We should go shoot at him. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. <laughs> hmm. So. I don't know if it's actually going to go back to the cutscene after this, so I'm going to just point it out. The way... If you look at the scene behind Rebecca, it's almost the exact same shade as her... Not jumpsuit, but her outfit. Um, it's the same type of pale green. Like, not olive drab, but a little paler, a little lighter. I thought she was transparent for a second. I actually thought she was a ghost. <laughs> Which would have made this the silliest thing in the world, but... Like, look at that. She Found almost looks transparent. Room I found a little while ago. I think I will be able to make something. You know you can use contractions. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you're safe. There you go, you used I'm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. That looks like a door right there. I keep thinking it is. 
Alright, so... I'm gonna check on her, see if there's anything else she can say to us. Because I think we're pretty much done with this place. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? Oh, I'd like you to treat me all night long. Actually, that helps out yes, quite a lot. Please do something for me, temporarily. <laughs> please, let me point out everything in this game that you just told me. <laughs> was it good for you? It was Most good for me. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. I'm actually not going to make fun of that. Um, even though I do know what Umbrella is because it's impossible not to. It's like not knowing that there are zombies in Resident Evil at this day and age. It's just so prevalent in popular culture that Umbrella is what created the T-Virus, which created all these um, created all these zombies. What's with the weird music? Wesker! Chris, you're alive. <laughs> My words exactly. They can Where's be Jill? your words if you didn't Are say you them. with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. I've got We're like 70 bullets. Trouble. Chris. There are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is beautiful. This is like Oh. I thought I could pick that up. Guess not. What is that? Something I can squash, that's all I know. Is it a spider or something? There we go. I'm gonna squash him anyway, because I don't want him growing into anything. Jeez. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this game just keeps getting better and better. Those two cutscenes were just fantastic. I want to play pinball, though. <laughs> I bet I can beat Wesker's high score. And of course, Rebecca will never be come anywhere close to us because girls can't play arcade games. Um. Oh my god, after two cutscenes like that. Oh my god. <laughs> those were, those were beautiful. <laughs> I don't think we have a um, an ink ribbon left, so we're going to have to go back to the mansion anyway. Looks like we're getting pl close to the end of the game, though. Alright, so combine. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought that said 69 bullets. It's 63. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, there's herbs down this alleyway, I think. So we should be good. Whee! What was that beeping sound? Oh, is it the radio? This is Chris. 
Brad, can you hear me? Damn. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's what that was. Sounds like we're going to be running into more dogs, though, maybe? Hope not. We spent so much time killing them, so... That's why it would be pretty... Disappointing if they were back. Oh. Okay, I did take all the plants here. <laughs> I know I sound kind of, like, disappointed in everything, but it's really because I'm trying to stay quiet. Because it is kind of late at night. It's, like, almost... It's quarter to twelve, and... My folks have to get up for work tomorrow. You knew? Alright, so... Wait, is that a switch on the wall? Right there, right there. I can I can see something on the wall. No, that's that's nothing, I guess. Alright, well, we'll try this, I guess. The battery is pulled out. Okay. Got to get power to the elevator. Can we take the battery from the other elevator? Because I don't want to go back... No. I don't want to go back with the snakes. Looks like there's no choice, though. I need to go back and get the crank. Because otherwise, the water level... will be... Oh, I thought the, the wall was moving. The water level will be low? Wait a minute. No, we don't need the crank, because the water level's already low. That's why the water's blocking our path to that gate. Okay, so we're good. Or we should be good. I hope we're good, because otherwise I'm going to die from snake bites. We're looking for a battery, though. Because I think I see what's going on here. I think we need to get through behind that waterfall for some reason. And... We need to raise the, or lower the walkway so that the water, or no, raise the walkway so the water can't go through. And we need to find a battery. Haha, <laughs> snakes can't climb ladders. <laughs> oh, snakes and ladders. <laughs> but we also need to find a battery so we can use that lift to get down there. Alright, that makes sense. It's dumb, but it makes sense. Like, who, in their right minds, would make sure to put... Is this blue or green? Aha, it's green. Yes, I will. And I see there's red herbs, so I'll take one of those as well. I'll combine them to make mixed herbs. Who, in their right minds, would block the route of, es route of escape or easy access like that? Just makes no sense. Alright, well anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Blindly with me, Alex Fu. Because I think we've been going for quite a while now. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Take it easy.